well, did you see Jimmy Kimmel doing uh, a, a White House speech or doing a stand up at the White House? And or whatever the fuck it was, some I mean, Newt Gingrich was in the audience, Obama was in the audience, whatever the fuck official name of the gathering was. He started talking about marijuana legalization, and that it's real people care about weed laws. It's true, we, and that's who said of, that? Jimmy Kimmel. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, Jimmy it, Kimmel yeah. is. It was, you know, it was a really fascinating moment, man. He's a brave motherfucker for doing that. It was, and he was, and he's goddamn right, you know. And he he did what you're supposed to do if you get an opportunity to do something like that, where it's going to be on television. He was respectful, you know, but he was still funny, you know, when he was doing a stand up. And then when he had a point about marijuana, he just he just made the point, man, that real people care about these laws. And he didn't go crazy with it and didn't go too far with it. But it, he was he was, you know, it's fucking true. It's how, gross. How crazy is it that marijuana was a conspiracy? <laughs> it still is. It still fucking is the most amazing thing in the 2012. There's people out there that will list all sorts of negative effects that it can have. Listen, folks, fucking everything you do can have a negative effect if you get crazy with it. We're drinking coffee here. Coffee can fucking kill you. If you're crazy and you're one of those dudes who just wants to drink coffee all day and just get gacked out of your your mind on venti starbucks you could have a fucking heart attack you could like you could stimulate yourself to death people die from caffeine overdose that's a that's an actual you know fairly regular occurrence i think there's something like ten thousand people die every year from aspirin and caffeine together combined something along those lines either way point is it's it's the best sign ever of a corrupt government that this magical plant, you know, and people say, oh, you fucking pothead, you fucking queer, with all your magic, what do you want, your weed, you fucking baby, you can't survive without weed. Those people need weed, first of all, more than anybody, right? Yeah, definitely. And, and second of all, it's, you don't understand what this really is. This is a potential life-enhancing substance that is just naturally growing around people. And it's been with us for thousands of years. And we have some sort of a physical symbiotic relationship. We actually have cannabinoid receptors in our brain that receive cannabinoids, both from cannabis and, and from exercise. Your That's body a conspiracy creates theory. cannabinoids. That's a conspiracy It is. Some yeah. people won't believe that. What science are you humans, reading? Humans, and not, by the way, by the way, there's the, the benefits aren't even psychoactive. One of the best ways to use marijuana is to actually eat it, to eat the fresh leaves, to eat the leaves and the plants. It's incredibly healthy for you. It has zero psychoactive effect because it's not the only way you have to smoke it or you just have to cook it into an edible form and then eat it. But to just eat marijuana, it doesn't give you the psychedelic effects. But what it does do, it's a really incredibly healthy plant. It has a fuckload of amino acids. It contains a lot of protein. Hemp seeds are really good for it. And they fucking taste good. Like, I, I like eat hemp seeds all the time. Like, I'll eat them as snacks. I'll be sitting there watching TV and I'll have like hemp seed. And it's it's incredible amounts of protein. It's really healthy and clean, you know, and, and it's illegal. It makes the best paper, it makes the best clothes. You can make fucking plywood out of it. It's virtually indestructible. It's amazing. It's lighter than wood. It's, it grows quicker than wood. It's stronger than wood. It's, it's an amazing, almost an alien being. It's almost like something there's, it's not like, it's one of the most useful plants on earth, aside from the psychoactive effects of it. When you add the psychoactive effects, it's the number one use, most useful plant on earth, most for sure, because it actually can change people's lives and make people feel better. It actually gives you a good feeling. Like the, everybody needs that. That's like one of the most important things we could ever have. Something in our life that gives us a good feeling. Something in our life that makes us a little more humble. Something in our life that makes us a little more aware. Something in your life that makes you a little more appreciative. You know, these poor fucks. <laughs> poor fuck. Don't you feel bad for people that don't want it? People to smoke weed. Um, I understand. You know, I was, uh, I, I wasn't into it till I was twenty eight. So I totally understand where they're coming from. I just, you know, I don't want to push anybody into it or anything. But if uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and, and and let people know that you know most of the important stuff that I do, almost all of it, the important stuff, I do uh, medicated with uh, the sacred plant. I, I feel if I taught a class and I wasn't medicated that I would be cheating out my students. I'm way more passionate. <laughs> I'm way more passionate when I teach, when I'm stoned, way more. Can you imagine, yeah. like doing comedy and you don't have a little weed in you, you feel like you're, you're, you're not giving, you feel like you're at 85 almost. Sometimes, no. I like doing sober shows too, 
But I smoke so much weed. That I'm, <laughs> am, I, am I ever really sober? Yeah, dude, you know, because like, it's adjusted the way I act even when I'm sober. Like it's, playing music, yeah. not stoned? I couldn't even imagine that. <laughs> I